Okay, so actually I think I'll start off quickly here with Brian's question of Saturday, and I'm going to open you back up here, Brian. Your speaker should be on now, and we should all be able to hear you. Good morning, Brian. Hello, Rick. Are you copying me? I can hear you just fine. Yep, you're perfect. Okay, so before we ask, before we dive into the question about what is the best plugin I recommend for putting tables in your site, I'd like to just jump on to the, go back to the question we answered on Saturday about how to make this tab up here not not go any place but stay on the same page and only let the drop down elements go places and so I demonstrated that here on this website which is www.categories.byobwebsite.com which is a site that I use for demonstrating answers to questions that I've given mostly on the DIY themes forum so we're just going to come over here to the WP admin and log into this And the way we do that is by using the WordPress 3.0 menu system. The WordPress 3.0 menu system is made possible outright in Thesis 1.8. If you're using a version of Thesis that's not Thesis 1.8, then this, uh, this is not going to work. But we'll first we'll start off by coming over here to Thesis Site Options. And under this navigation menu, what we're going to do is we're going to select the menu type. Right now I have the Thesis Nav menu selected, but what we'll do instead of that is press the WordPress Nav menu and hit Save. And now you can see all the regular navigation menu options have gone away because we're going to use the WordPress Nav menu system instead. And so now what you do is you scroll down here to Appearance and Menus, and we're just going to create a new menu. So we'll enter the menu name here. In this case, we'll just call it Main Menu. And we'll create the menu. And then what we'll do is we'll add some pages to the main menu. We'll add uh, carousel and how to just, well, uh, demo seven and mommy blogger. And I think we'll go to home. And we'll add those to the menu. And now you can see that uh, these things are all. Well, stuck on here in the order that I selected them, you can grab a menu item and drag it to the top. And if we go ahead and save this menu now, what's going to happen is the first tab will be Home, the second tab will be Carousel, the third tab will be Demo 7, and then Mommy Blogger. Now the other thing we have to do is we have to select the primary menu. We only have one menu, so we'll select Main Menu and hit Save. We'll hit Save Menu one more time just to make sure it happened. And then we'll jump on over and take a look at our site. Okay, this is uh, one of the really cool features of WordPress 3.1, which is working in its beta version on this uh, site. And it essentially gives you all of your edit functions for administrators up here on the top. Nobody else but an administrator is going to see this. So um, this view shows up when you are logged in. And now you can see that we have these different tabs set up as we laid them out in the menu. Now, you can also see, though, that you know this is obviously way too long, and Thesis had this neat little way of changing the size. Well, WordPress does also. We come back over to our menu and drop that down. We can change this menu label, say, just to Demo 7. And it'll keep that original name just so that you remember specifically which one you were using. But if we hit Save Menu now, and we come back over to this and refresh it, now you can see we have the nice short name. Okay, well that actually hasn't answered Brian's question, because what Brian wants to do is when he clicks on this not to go to that page, he doesn't want this to link to anything. So in order for us to accomplish that, come back over to our menu and the first thing we're going to do is we're going to create a new menu or we're going to use this custom links so the HTML standard for for linking to the same page that you're on is the pound sign so instead of this URL we're just going to put the pound sign here 
And then the label, we're going to say, we'll just call it categories. And we will add that to the menu. Now, as it turns out, obviously there's nothing below this right now. And so we want to put some child pages under this parent page or parent menu item. So we're going to take cherries, bananas, and oranges, and we're going to add them to the menu. And now if we just save this menu right now, come back over and look at it, you can see these are all on the same level. And if we click categories, nothing happens because it just links to this current page. What we'll do is we will take these, what we want to be sub-menu items, and we'll just shift them over here under the categories thing. And as we drag and drop them, now they are sub-menus of categories. We can hit save again. Come back over here and refresh it. And now categories doesn't take you anywhere, but oranges takes you someplace. Bananas does. Categories leaves you on whatever page you happen to be on. So right now, if we click on categories, it stays on the bananas page. If we come over here to Demo 7 and click on Categories, it leaves us on the Demo 7 page, so on and so forth. So now we've answered Brian's question about how to keep this so that it shows as a top-level link but does not go anywhere. Would that fully answer your question, Brian? Yes, that's correct.